Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is John Coffey, and I am the Unpaved Explorer. Today is Thursday, April the 8th, 2021. It's a quarter after 10, and it's 75 degrees. I am at the Snow Road picnic area and I am on the multi-purpose trail right now. I'm going to walk this multi-purpose trail to the bridal trail and see where that leads. And so I uh, don't know if I said what time it is and temperature so it's uh, quarter after 10 and it's 75 degrees. Now this wasn't a planned hike. Uh, this was just a spare of the moment hike. Uh, it's more of a walkabout. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my coffee cup in the trash. I'm about to get onto the bridal trail. So. So, I just learned that this is not a bridal trail as I thought, but this is, it's a hiking only trail. And so, we've got some buttercups coming in. I don't know how long this trail is. Uh, I'm only going to be on it, I'll, I'll figure probably an hour, do a half an hour out, half hour back. But here's the creek. This is Big Creek, and it's part of the Big Creek Reservation, which is part of the Cleveland Metro Park. I drive by here quite often and I see kids in the creek trying to find things. They're probably trying to find crawfish, some snails, some frogs, some turtles. And so, uh, because that's what I used to do when I was a kid. I lived uh, about uh, 500 feet away from a creek. And so, uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk this trail, and uh, really not prepared for hiking at all. I got sandals, shorts, and a t-shirt. Like I said, this wasn't planned. This was uh, just a last minute decision. The weather's supposed to be nice today until later, until late afternoon, early evening. And then we're going to get the storms. And so. There's a lot of deadfall around here. On both sides of the trail. And I know that there's a lot of deer that actually uh, graze in these woods. And so, it looks like there's a little dirt trail off the trail path. So let's take the dirt trail, see where that leads. And so, here in the metro parks, uh, the only thing you are, are allowed to leave is footprints. And you take nothing out except for your trash. And so uh, people do forage. Forage is not allowed. Uh, shed hunting is not allowed. But people do it anyways. Generally speaking, if you get caught at the 
Metro Parks Police slash Rangers catch you in possession of uh, anything in the park. Uh, they generally uh, will just say, put it back in the woods. Some of them won't say nothing. But some do, depending on what it is. And uh, there is a fine. And there may be a chance that your privileges of coming to the park could be taken away. So, for a period of time. My guess, if you're going to forage, if you're going to shed hunt, bring a bucket and one of those handled grabbers. Pick up some garbage. Oh, wow. You could pick up some garbage. We got two deer here. One bedded down, and the other one's grazing. Like I said, there's a lot of deer here. Let's see if I could. Okay. There's one grazing, and one bedded down. Here in these parks, the deer are used to people walking around, people with their dogs, and they're not spooked very easily. So, that's super cool. Now it's talking, I was talking pretty loud. So, okay, I'll continue with my walk. And so, I'm on the dirt path here. I'm glad I took it. So, like I said, if you're going to forage, for example, for morels, wild onions, ramps, do some shed hunting, then uh, some people go for acorns, black walnuts, etc. So bring a bucket and a grab handle and pick up trash. Now if you have trash in your bucket and if you get and let's just say you're shed hunting and you find a shed they uh, I would not think that a ranger or a park police officer will give you any hassles for having a shed in your possession and you found it while doing the park a favor by picking up trash. But I can't answer, and I can't say that for sure. But I would be very disappointed in that particular police officer or that particular ranger for giving you a hard time for having a shed or a few black walnuts or some morels and here you found them while picking up trash. That's just my opinion. So. Oh, there's a squirrel. Found a really good spot here on the bank and there's a lonesome male duck all by himself oh no there may be another one yes there's two usually mallards usually they are in couples and so that's a male and a female so I hope it's coming out good on the phone. Right now I'm using my camera phone to video. So check it out. Look at what we got there.
looks like the ramps are coming in now and so which is really nice little FYI if you're gonna do a little bit of bushwhacking in the woods don't do it in sandals <laughs> like I said this wasn't planned and so looks like somebody was doing a little bit of stealth camping there's a stake with some paracord so I just don't understand people. They take the time to hike with their dog and then they carry a doggy bag and pick up the dog poo. Then they just leave it on the trail. Doesn't make sense. Another individual who drops their dog poo after they pick it up. Unbelievable. And that's only a 15 feet away from the last bag. So there's a vulture there. And there's another vulture there. And uh, what was really kind of funny is I wasn't looking up. And uh, I, I walked underneath them and they scared the crap out of me because they flew down and they flapped their wings. I'm like, what the heck? There was some people, a lady and her very young daughter at the creek while I was talking. So that's why I got cut off. And like I was saying, I'm glad I decided to make this impromptu hike uh, because I have seen a lot of wildlife some of it I've seen and uh, I didn't wasn't videoing and I didn't have time enough to capture it on video and so like I saw some really really bright red cardinals and so I didn't notice various ramps are coming up now and uh, I did see but I didn't really want to damage them it appeared to me like some wild onions so they're gonna be coming in so basically wild onions and ramps and morels and then sheds but that's not a plant but all come in about the same time and so you could be out shed hunting come across a, a patch of wild ramps a patch of wild onions a patch of morels and so well I'm gonna go ahead and right here is a, a good spot to turn around, not do a turnaround, but walk back. Because I don't want to stay out too long, and I don't want this video to be too long. And so, I got some errands to do. I got to uh, look for an edger for the house. Mine broke. Got to look for a trimmer for the house. Mine broke. Got to look for a leaf blower. <laughs> Mine broke. So, I had them all for about, uh, let's see, I've been in my house 14, 15 years. So, about 14, 15 years. Looks like they're cleaning up some downfall. Oh, you know what it is? It's the downfall across the path. So, they, they cut it up. So, 
Well, I am on the multi-purpose trail. It's a blacktop trail. And so they allow people to walk, bike. You can use electrical and motorized small uh, transportation methods like scooters and stuff. Uh, they allow people a roller blade. And so they do this so that even uh, people who are handicapped on wheelchairs can enjoy the Metro Parks too. And so this is a very nice place. Very enjoyable. Looks like we got some corn cobs. Somebody must put some out for the squirrels or the deer. Uh, parks management office, not office, but maintenance has been through here, planting plants, wrapping them up. Now these are older, looks like these plants didn't take. So I decided to go off trail a little bit, uh, seeing if I could locate some uh, signs of any sheds where I thought might be. So, getting back on trail. See, here's some plantings that they did that is taken very nicely. So. Well, I'm on my way back to the car. I'm only about 400 meters away from my car. So I'm, uh, I'm glad I did this hike. Came out, went on a short walk about Saw some buttercups, uh, saw some uh, uh, ramps coming up, saw some red cardinals, saw some black vultures, saw some deer, squirrel, and probably a few other items. I just can't think of them right now. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or any comments, please place them in the comment section below. As always, all comments, all questions are welcome. Again, my name's John Coffey. I'm the Unpaved Explorer, and I'm out of here. And so... I'll go ahead and state the location again, just in case I didn't. I'm in, uh, this is actually Parma Heights, not Parma. And we're at the Snow Road Picnic Shelter, Shelter by the Creek uh, Park. And uh, it's part of the Metro Park system. So, again, my name's John Coffey. I'm the Unpaved Explorer. And I'm out of here. You take care, keep exploring outdoors, and I'll catch you on the next exploration.